afternoon, welcome to Chasing Tunes TV. You join me at four o'clock on the afternoon on what is a very, very hot day. It's coming up in the car as 32 degrees, so it's been pretty unpleasant for most of the day. I had a pass all this weekend to go fishing, so I could have come yesterday, but I thought, well, to be honest, I don't really want to be sitting on the bank cooking in this weather. So I've left it till now and by the time I get where I need to be got, get to get on the fish, then it's going to be round about 6 o'clock, half past 6 before I even start to put the rods out. So, two days ago, Saturday today and Thursday, had a little walk around, spotted a lot of fish down on the birdhouse on the M6 or should I say the birdhouse hut on the M6 and there was a lot of decent fish down there to be fair there was some more fish as well on the island swim down by the points uh, up against the weed bank but there was all I would say most of them 90% 90, 90 of them was doubles but down by the bird hut in the deep water uh, there was definitely a lot of bigger fish down there some really really good ones as well so I asked Andy the bailiff to have a look down there yesterday and they're still down there so me and Andy have arranged to meet up do an overnight session and see whether we can catch some fish down there I'm hoping that nobody's spotted them because I can't see too many people being on the bank in this weather so I'm hoping by the time I get down there that when I glance over towards where I want to be with that prevailing wind pumping in there it's going to be clear so I'm about five minutes away and <clears throat> I will catch up with you a little bit later. It's going to be a very very short vlog and hopefully an enjoyable one. Again I'm only on for this evening, tonight and I'll be off in the morning before it starts to get hot but you know I'll try and capture what I can capture and hopefully because we're going to be on the fish I may put a chunk or two on the map between us. So catch you in a week guys. Ta -da. Holy shit, I've literally just come down from off the island bank down here. It is literally black, full of carp. Can't see any decent sized ones, but who cares when you got your surface fishing gear with you. So I think I'm gonna have, uh, have to pull a few down there. We'll see if we can have some take any interest. Now, I don't want to stick this on top of the reds because literally they're all here. I'm just going to uh, let them just trickle in. I certainly don't want to be there casting over the top of them so try and pick them off from here literally black down there oh, let's leave that let's uh Let's see if them mixers go off the top of their heads and see whether they're going to uh, feed on them. Well, I've probably been feeding this area now for approximately half an hour. And I think it's just about time that we pull a rod out because these fish are actively seeking out the mixers. They're very confident in taking. And I think when I get the rod out, it won't be long for me to get one. So, 
let's get this uh, surface controller out and let's see if we can uh, get one early on and get our first fish down here gone right out in the middle of uh, where them fish are feeding so let's see if we can have any interest got a group of carp now probably about 10 just coming in and around where our mixer is that one Can just see them fish just moving out now <laughs> as I'm literally bent into this one. They're on the move, that's for sure.
Bosch. Probably not the best place to hook a fish, but there we go, they're there, they're there. Well, that's it, I'm going to uh, make my way off over down to where I'm going to be fishing tonight. These fish have pushed off really and there's just an odd, the odd couple there, but they're certainly not feeding now I've had that fish. So, let's get around there. Great start to the video blog. Well this is something that a little bit different for the Bowel Carp Syndicate because obviously you join me up this corner and I'm literally going to be fishing maximum of 20 yards as a guess just in this corner where that fish keeps rolling and a couple of others you might you won't be able to make that out but fish rolling there and yeah, looking pretty good for a bite. Because I know there's low lime weed out there, we're going to go with a solid bag as a little bit of a sail, fail safe. And I know this is going to be presented on that low lime weed that's out there. Inside there is a little Ronnie rig, just to pop up. And hopefully it out on the mark and get it fishing Well, you join me at nine o'clock, and as you can see, I've got now baby tonight. I am sleeping under the stars. We've had this breeze come on, which, in all honesty, after the couple of days of high temperatures we've had, 
it is a welcome relief just to feel that lovely cool air blowing in directly onto me but not only just for me also for the fishing as well because this wind pushing down to this right hand side I've seen fish out there but both over where I'm fishing and where Andy's fishing over there over towards where that swan is so every now and again I see one nut out but it's looking encouraging going into the night as I've said me and Andy have seen them down here for the past couple of days but even more so the confidence is up because of this wind that's now pushing in uh, we've not had the wind like this for at least a week so to have this wind push on definitely gives you a boost of confidence especially knowing that these fish like like a wind on air and like the new wind and though it's been pushing in for a couple of days down on this corner you know this little bit of a uh, boost in the wind pushing down there yeah it's gonna uh, definitely stir things up a bit and hopefully yeah fingers crossed we'll have another fish so from me until the morning i'll see you later guys good night Good morning. Half past six. Been up and down all through the night. And not really got too much sleep, you know, on the steep, down the white. Just couldn't settle at all. How many Andy haven't caught a fish? I do not know. Weather conditions for down here last night was absolutely pucker. But we both wake up this morning to now fish and the wind pushing down on the uh, southerly bank down there where it was supposed to be doing a east northeasterly. I've just checked my phone by the way and it's still saying it's a north east northeasterly wind, which it isn't. So it's a little bit of a mill pond down here at the moment. But we've still got plenty of time to catch fish up until around about 11 o'clock is the time down here and I still think because the fish have been down here for the past few days that they'll still be down here so I'm going to start to load barra obviously I'm going to uh, escape for around about half 10 11 o'clock unless I see any fish on the top that is but yeah I don't fancy uh, being out here getting uh, cooked alive on the bank this morning so yeah we're gonna uh, bath escape around about that time so I think the only thing to do now is to have a cup of tea and get on the phone to Mr Grumpy over there and see what sort of night he had got on the boards he had a 28 pound mirror last night so yeah he's done something right but let's wait and see so yeah cup of tea time catch you a little bit later
Well, unfortunately, it's just gone half past nine. It's starting to get a little bit warm now and starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable. So it's time to bring these rods in. Maybe in hindsight yesterday, I should have stopped up the top, put a couple of bottom bait rigs out for the night, but they did seem the little bit of the smaller stamper fish up there. And after seeing a couple of the big girls down here for the past two days, that's why I've come down here and targeted this area. Maybe the lines going out yesterday may have pushed them out, but I'm not too sure because we kept seeing them up until it went dark. And there was definitely showing out there yesterday, even with the rigs out there. So I'm not too sure what's happened. Maybe they're just like pushed off to another area and that's just the way it is. When you're targeting a small amount of fish down here, you know, and some of the big girls, that I've got left to catch. Yeah, sometimes it's, you've got to uh, put the catching fish on a back burner and just keep targeting them areas to try and catch them individual fish. So, it's not all over yet. I'm going to bring these rods in. I'm going to go back up there with a float again, see whether I can have an hour up there and see whether them fish are still there. If not, I will uh, bring this video blog to an end now and again it's only a short trip out so there's not a lot of footage apart from me catching that fish yesterday and putting them rods out but it just shows you the sort of thing that I quite regularly do with my fishing. Everybody sees me out on you know a session but most of the time in all honesty time is uh, precious and with work family you know um, finding them hours to be out on the bank uh, is a rarity in all honesty so this is the sort of thing that I do like I'll af late afternoon overnight sessions uh, where I uh, get time out on the bank wish I could have like a proper session out every single time but obviously fishing is always a bonus and uh, I'll, to be fair I wouldn't like to be a full-time angler it would ruin the um, the excitement that I've had for nearly 40 years if I went out all the while doing a bit of fishing um, then I, I would definitely lose that buzz and I wouldn't enjoy my fishing anywhere near as much as I do now so unless I come back to you later guys thank you for watching Bish Bash Bosch, keep it tosh, wet nets, tight lines, see you on the next video. Bye bye guys.